understand what's going on around you. You are in a state of war. And you have precious little time to save yourself. It was the height of the Cold War. And tensions between the United States and the Soviet Union were at an all-time high. Little did anyone know that on one fateful night in 1983, the world came perilously close to nuclear annihilation. This is the story of Stanislav Petrov, the man who saved the world. Petrov was a lieutenant colonel in the Soviet Air Defence Force and it was his job to monitor the Soviet Union's early warning system. He was the first line of defence against an incoming missile attack from the United States. On September the 26th, 1983, Petrov was on duty at the early warning centre when the unthinkable happened. The computer system detected what appeared to be five incoming missiles launched from the United States. The early warning system was designed to give the Soviet Union just a few minutes to decide whether to launch a counterattack. The stakes were incredibly high. The Cold War had created a climate of fear and paranoia, with both sides convinced that the other was on the verge of launching a surprise attack. Petrov knew that if the missile launch was real, it would trigger an all-out nuclear war between the US and the Soviet Union with catastrophic consequences for the entire planet. Petrov had a split-second decision to make. Should he follow the protocol and launch a counterattack, or should he trust his instincts and wait for more information? Petrov chose to trust his instincts. He believed that the missile launch was a false alarm and that the computer system had malfunctioned. And he was right. The computer system had indeed malfunctioned and the supposed missile launch was just a glitch in the system. Petrov had just saved the world from nuclear war, but his heroism went largely unnoticed, even within his own country. The Soviet authorities were embarrassed by the false alarm and Petrov was reprimanded for not following protocol. He was later retired from the service and his actions went unrecognised for many years. And it wasn't until many years later that Petrov's heroism was finally recognised. He was awarded several international honours, including the World Citizen Award and the German Media Prize. Stanislav Petrov passed away in 2017, but his legacy lives on. While he will always be remembered as the man who saved the world, he stands out as a symbol of humanity, who showed us the importance of intuition in a world of high-tech systems and nuclear brinkmanship. The world owes a debt of gratitude to Stanislav Petrov. He trusted his instincts and averted a global catastrophe. He was a true hero of the Cold War. The incident involving Stanislav Petrov was just one moment a decades-long period, where the world teetered on the edge of nuclear annihilation from one heartbeat to the next. The Cold War was a time of heightened tensions when political leaders and military strategists played a dangerous game of mutually assured destruction, almost daring each other to push the nuclear button and unleash hell on earth. But in the midst of this madness, and at the tipping point of chaos, Stanislav Petrov stood out as a beacon of sanity. A humble man who took his duty very seriously, Petrov's clear thinking and bravery prevented a catastrophic mistake that would have almost inevitably triggered nuclear war. But the toll of that fateful day was heavy, and in the aftermath, Petrov suffered physically and emotionally. A reminder of the immense weight of responsibility that hangs over those charged with protecting the nation's survival. Today, Petrov's story is celebrated around the world by people who recognise the immense importance of his actions. The ongoing efforts to reduce the number of nuclear weapons worldwide is made in the hope that our world never comes close to nuclear war again. 
in memory of those who have suffered the horrors of nuclear war, but also in honor of Petrov's memory. But the menace of nuclear conflict remains, particularly when tensions rise between nuclear powers and the number of nations holding nuclear weapons increases. The world remains on alert and the threat is very much alive. Petrov's son Dmitri remembers his father as a symbol of hope and as a man who upheld the values of critical thinking, independent decision making and moral courage in the face of the autocratic diktats of the Communist Party of the USSR. He knows that his father's legacy serves as an inspiration to all those who seek to make the world a better place. As we remember Stanislav Petrov's legacy, we must also realize that the threat of nuclear war still exists. It is up to all of us to uphold the values of peace, justice, and humanity, and to work tirelessly to prevent a nuclear accident that would threaten the very fabric of life as we know it.